Here are the steps to bridge from the Ethereum network to the Avalanche network in Core Web. First, make sure that you navigate to core.app and click Connect Wallet. So I have the core extension installed, so I'm gonna select that option from the list of wallet options that are available. I'm gonna follow the steps, and once my core extension is connected to Core Web, it will give me an overview of the tokens that I have currently, which network they're on, and for this example, I wanna bridge in the command center from the Ethereum network to the Avalanche C chain. It's super easy, so I'm gonna navigate there. In the command center, I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the Ethereum network. I'm gonna select bridge, and then from the token dropdown menu, I'm gonna bridge wrapped ETH, to the Avalanche network. I'm gonna choose the max amount. You can review the details there. And once you're ready, click Bridge Tokens. This will open up a prompt asking you if you'd like to approve Core bridging these tokens over. Click Approve. This will open up a confirmation window where it will start the transfer of the tokens from the Ethereum network to the Avalanche seed chain. Once the transactions are complete on both the Ethereum network and the Avalanche network. You can initiate a new bridge transaction if you'd like, otherwise you can browse projects in our ecosystem. If you go back to your portfolio, you'll notice that the tokens have moved from the Ethereum network onto the Avalanche C chain. It will show you that there is now wrapped ETH on the Avalanche network, and you can use this for transactions. If you switch your network to the Avalanche C chain here, and you approve that, you'll be able to use the command center where you can send, receive, bridge, swap, and buy all in one location. And if you have any additional questions about how to use Core or how to bridge tokens, please reach out to support.avox.network and an AvaLabs team member would be happy to help you.